Governor J.B. Pritzker unveiled the various ways he wants to spend nearly $50 billion in taxpayer funds. He does so every year in his annual budget address. Good Wednesday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. And I'm Amber Kriska. Thank you for joining us. Lizzie Siles is in Springfield following his remarks and lawmakers' reaction. She joins us live from the Capitol in tonight's top story. Lizzie. Hi, Tyler and Amber. Good evening. Now, Pritzker says while his first term was focused on paying down debts and uh, getting Illinois on better financial footing, this year is all about making investments. The Democratic governor is putting education on his list as a primary concern, but there's Republican skepticism that Illinois may be spending more than it can afford. In his first address in the state capitol since COVID-19 began, Pritzker emphasized improving investments in education above all other plans for the state's annual budget. His administration is launching Smart Start Illinois, a four-year program that aims to increase pre-K and child care availability in the state. Smart Start Pre-K is a four-year plan that will allow us to give access to preschool to every three and four year old in Illinois. Of course, adding preschool seats only works if you have the staff to support them. Pritzker's proposed plan includes funds to hire more child care providers and create a teacher pipeline for understaffed K through 12 schools in the state. His proposal also makes college education essentially free for working families by adding $100 million in the monetary award program or MAP grant funding. Under the plan, community college students and 40% of families on a median income would be covered for college education. While she supports investment in education, Republican top budget negotiator Noreen Hammond wants to make sure it's something the state can afford. My biggest concern is um, that we are locking ourselves into um, some long-term spending that we may not in fact have the funds to be able to cover. Other Republican lawmakers echo her comments, fearing a lingering economic slowdown or recession could leave Illinois up a creek and unable to fund these programs, and asking for more immediate support for families struggling to afford utility costs. Our energy costs just keep going up and up and up as a result of legislation that has been passed in recent years, so um, our residents need some help. Democrats are more closely aligned with the governor's agenda, focusing on putting funds into social services as well as education. Lead Democratic negotiator and Peoria representative Jahan Gordon Booth believes the state house can navigate spending responsibly. We're going to be smart about this process. Um, we are going to we are standing on solid ground specific to the decisions that we have made over the last four years, and we want to continue in that vein. Now from here, the budget negotiations will step out of the limelight as lawmakers hash out the details behind the scenes here. But for a fuller picture of the budget plan, you can check out our website, 25newsnow.com. For now in Springfield, Lizzie Siles, 25 News.